Good afternoon everybody, it's definitely the afternoon at this point, it's coming up to like four o'clock I think. So definitely afternoon, good afternoon, how are you doing? Um, I have a few things to quickly mention. Number one, I'm sorry there was no vlog yesterday. I didn't really fancy being on camera but not only that, I was just sorting and organising. Tomorrow I'm going into London so I will definitely be vlogging for you guys but I don't know when that vlog is going to be up just because I don't know what the Wi-Fi will be like in the hotel that I'm staying at so I will try my best. If not there'll be a double vlog the day after tomorrow. I tanned as I'm sure you can tell, I feel so much better. I bloomin' love being tanned. I just feel better in my skin. I feel more like sunny and chirpy and it's almost like in my head having a tan makes me think the sun is shining. I don't know why, but I feel chirpier and happier um, being tanned. And not only that, I feel like my makeup goes on easier. I feel like my skin looks nicer and healthier and it's got a glow to it. I just, I feel better when I'm tanned. Let me know in the comments if you like relate to that at all. I've just posted to my Instagram asking you guys to send me um, assumptions about me, like things that you assume about me that may or may not be correct. And then in this video, I'm going to answer them because again, today I'm planning, as I said, busy tomorrow when I get back from that I think I'm going to my parents and then I think I've got a couple of weeks and then I might be going to Greece with Nick so I need to sort when I'm planning when I'm editing and when I'm uploading because everything's a bit in the air at the moment but instead of me forcing myself to pick up the camera when I'm trying to work I am instead just going to answer some questions recording wait a minute okay so here are lots of the questions there are literally hundreds of questions and when you get to the bottom it refreshes and then there's more so there are a ton of questions so I've basically gone through um, as they've been coming in and screenshot a lot of them and I'm gonna go ahead and answer them and I'm so excited because you guys assume some really like some things I've never spoken about on YouTube before and some of them made me giggle for example this first one I'm gonna answer says you have never seen Nick naked <laughs> Which just made me giggle, just the way that it was put. You've never seen Nick naked. <laughs> I've seen him naked a few times. <laughs> this kind of goes hand in hand with another question that I got quite a few times that says you're a virgin or you're not a virgin. Um, I've been with Nick for coming up to seven years. It's been seven years, I think, since I met him. It was 2011, September the 5th. 2011 it's September the 11th 2018 so it's been seven years since I met him and uh, so we've been together for pretty much coming on seven years we live together um, neither of us are religious or believe in sex after marriage so kind of makes sense that I'm not a virgin but Nick wasn't my first I assume that you're an introvert so this is half correct I think I've diagnosed myself here, a bit of self-diagnosis. I think I'm an introverted extrovert. So I like being at home, in my own space, alone. I like alone time and I value it a lot. But when I am not in my own space, when I am in social situations, I am quite loud and outgoing and I love social situations. I love being in them. I love talking to people, but every time I am in them, as much as I'm enjoying them, I'll always hit a point where I'm like, okay, I feel like I need to have my alone time now. So I think I'm an introverted extrovert. I'm definitely a very loud, outgoing, bubbly person, but I still value my alone time a lot. I assume that almost everyone you meet likes you because you have a peachy attitude. While I wish this was true, I don't think it is. I think I'm quite, okay, this is what I think. Obviously people might like me when they meet me, but I'm definitely an overthinker. And from my point of view, being me, um, I think a lot of people are okay with me, but I think I'm, I'm too loud and too peachy for some people. So I think they meet me and think, whoa, calm down. So it says you change your outfit three times before finally picking the one you want to wear. I change my outfit probably a hundred times. You want children in the next two or three years. Yes, I do want to start having children, but this is a video in itself. The whole children, pregnancy, new house thing is a whole video in itself. So actually maybe I'll save that answer for another video. But yes, we do want to start trying for a child in the next two or three years, so. You are a big kid. I am a giant kid. I have always had a side of me that just wishes I'd never grown up. I am always so excitable and so 
interested in things that kids are interested in. Like, I don't watch cartoons and I don't play with children's toys, but I do feel like I have a side of me that is more of a five-year-old than most. <laughs> you had lots of boyfriends. I have had four total proper boyfriends. I've had things with other guys and stuff, but four proper official boyfriends. You are more intelligent than you act. This one came up quite a bit. People assuming I'm smart, people assuming I did well in GCSEs, people assuming I was top of the class, people assuming I was a goody two-shoes at school, which I was, people assuming I'm smarter than I act. So I don't think I necessarily act less intelligent. I think it just doesn't come through because I'm just a big giant kid and I just like having fun and normally when you're having fun intellect doesn't come into it so it might not come across to you that I am necessarily that smart. Um, I'm quite intelligent. So this is one that I got quite a lot as well that I'm just different on YouTube on and off camera um, and that I'm happier on camera and all of this jazz. So this is again quite a long answer so I'm just gonna say I don't even know, there's a yes and no to that answer. It's like my on-camera personality is part of my personality and then there's other parts of my personality that you don't see. So it's not me not being me on camera, it's just me always being one part of me on camera. Does that make sense? I assume that you have always been popular. No, <laughs> quite the opposite, I've never been popular. I've never been the popular kid, ever, to my knowledge. Never the popular one. You don't like your brother because you never show him. I love my brother. <laughs> He's my pal. Um, no, I absolutely love my brother. We text all the time. We got on really, really well. Um, I never show him because he doesn't like being on camera. So that's more his choice, not mine. If it were my choice, he would be around here all the time filming brother tags and my brother does my makeup and my brother does this and my brother does that. Like, he would be in every video. Like, I would love my brother to be on my channel, but my brother doesn't like being in videos, so I do like my brother an awful lot. <laughs> this one says you weren't popular in school and you were bullied slash made fun of. Correct, I wasn't popular in school, as I said before, and yeah, I was bullied. Um, again, I feel like that's a story for another time, but I, in fact, I do really want to make a video on that, but yeah. I was bullied at school, I was made fun of, it was horrible, I hated every second of it. And I do quickly, before I move on, want to say that if you are being bullied, you are not alone. There is nothing wrong with you, you will get over this and it, you will find other people that will be friends with you. Like, honestly, bullying just makes you feel like you have no one. And believe me, you do. And it, it will all be over soon. Like it. Ugh. Bullying is like the worst. When you're in the moment of it, it is the worst. And you feel like everything is crumbling around you and you feel like you're just never gonna fit in, you're never gonna find friends, you're never gonna be okay. I'm welling up. I'm welling up. I hate bullying. I hate bullying so much. I hate bullying. I hate tearing up when I've got makeup on. It's like the worst, because you can't wipe your eyes properly. You're not alone. You're gonna get through this. You're strong enough. I believe in you. You're good. Okay. <laughs> Touchy subject, that one. You are really small. No, I'm actually, compared to it seems, every YouTuber that I've met, I'm actually taller than pretty much everyone. I'm 5'6", so I don't, like when I was at school, I never felt like the tall kid. In fact, I was very average when I was at school. I was pretty much the same height as everyone, 5'6", very normal. Um, but it seems on YouTube everyone's about 5'2", 5 5'4", 5 and uh, I'm 5'6", so I'm not really small. I wouldn't say I was massive, but uh, I'm 5'6". You've been cheated on. Yes, again, a story for another video if you want to hear about it. Let me know in the comments if anything I touch on here you'd rather was discussed further. Have been cheated on wasn't very nice, never want that to happen again, and uh, if anyone's going through it, I feel for you because that sucks. You've never had a real job, only YouTube. Incorrect. I've had three jobs, 
you don't swear so correct i don't swear it's not just me holding my tongue for camera i actually generally in real life i don't swear they're just not words that i choose to use i don't think they're very nice words um i don't really have an issue with other people using them i just personally choose not to use them someone says you're preg <laughs> just you're preg there are two little love hearts there though um but no, I am not pregnant. There are a lot of you asking if I was pregnant. A lot of you asking if I was pregnant. I don't know what I've done to give you that impression. I know that I filmed the 24 hour pregnancy video and the 24 hours trying to be a mum video um, and I've spoken about it a little bit, but no, not yet. I'm not pregnant, but hopefully within the next two or three years, it'll happen. The next one says you are spoiled. No, I'm not spoiled. Okay, the next one says that you laugh at just about anything. Correct. I have a very, very broad range of humour. I find a lot of things funny. I laugh so often, genuinely believe I have like ab lines from laughing because I do not exercise enough in order to have abs and I genuinely think I have ab lines because of laughing. I laugh so often. I laugh at dark humour. I laugh at children's humor i laugh at one-liners and i laugh at relatable comedy i laugh at people being clumsy and falling over i laugh at i laugh at just about anything i just i just think a lot of people have one sense of humor like nick's got a very dark sense of humor my mum has got a very young sense of humor and i will laugh at anything like any sense of humor i'm good to go i find it funny when you meet someone you are shy once you know them you release the bubbly jazz so this one is completely dependent on the situation that i meet them in so if i'm in a group of friends um and then we meet someone new i think i instantly come across as bubbly me if i'm by myself going into a group of people i think i come across as extremely shy and if it's me one-on-one -on -one meeting someone never met each other before don't know anything about each other i think i'm very average like i think it completely depends on the situation in which i meet people this one says you have hair extensions and i've had this a few times and no this is all my natural hair like there are no clip-ins like if i do this there's nothing sticking out like i don't know how to prove I don't have hair extensions because I've never owned hair extensions, so I don't know what the key proving points are. I don't know how to prove I don't have hair extensions, but it's all, it's all my own hair. So, you know. <laughs> this one says that your eyes aren't green, and if they naturally are, then I'm shook. So my eyes, I've discussed this before, are naturally green, but they change depending on lighting and my mood. So at the moment, if I pull this to one side, ah. Uh, that's my natural eye colour, and then if I blink, then that's my, my uh, contact eye colour. My contacts just give me a bit of a deeper green, just a little bit deeper, because they're the closest shade that I could find to like my eye colour. Because the other ones that I found were very, very like light green, and I've got kind of a dark green. <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about. Okay, final question, because my memory card literally has 40 seconds before it runs out, and this one says, you hate Saffron Barker. I don't know where that's come from. She's honestly one of the nicest people I've ever met, like really, really down to earth, really chatty, really, really lovely. So no, I do not hate Saffron at all in any way. I don't know where that came from, but no. Um, and yeah, I'm gonna end it there because I have uh, 15 seconds. My memory card is going to run out. So I do hope you've enjoyed this little video. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Let me know down in the comments what you thought and write some more assumptions or other things you'd like to hear about. And I will see you tomorrow. Bye.